It's interesting. I uh, I recently read an article that said that people fear public speaking more than they fear death. <laughs> that apparently among all phobias, public speaking, you know, takes the cake. Apparently getting in front of an audience of your peers is one of the most frightening human endeavors that people can conceive of. To be scrutinized by others, to be seen through the eyes of others makes us really self-conscious, right? Because what's going on? We we are uniquely self-conscious beings. The way that we come to know ourselves is through the eyes of others. In other words, I am not who I think I am. I am not who you think I am. I am who I think you think I am. That is the nature of the mutual mental modeling that goes on when we interact with other beings, right? We imagine who they are based on what they say and how they act, and then we imagine the ways in which they see us. So this is happening all the time. Now, when you get on stage, my friend, if you bring that self-consciousness with you, if you get on stage and you get you and you choke on imagining what these people are thinking of you, you will never get through the experience. The reason it is so terrifying is precisely because that social scrutiny makes our amygdala, our fear response in the brain, go into overdrive because the possibility of rejection is palpable. The possibility of being socially ostracized is real. The possibility of being publicly ridiculed is <laughs> viscerally felt. That's why people shake. That's why people choke. That's why people tremble at even the thought, even the anticipation of public speaking. And yet there's some people, right, uniquely gifted, it seems, that have this capacity to take the stage in front of hundreds, in front of thousands, and be fully transparent and be fully vulnerable and be fully real and be fully present. These people go into flow. These people go into the zone. And what happens when you're in the zone? Well, you lose yourself. The inner critic, the inner chatter goes offline. And you know what also goes offline is that relentless, not just self-monitoring, but monitoring of how we think others are seeing us. In other words, the secret to public speaking is the capacity to put aside the part of ourselves that is worried about how we're coming across and instead tap into, right, <laughs> your raw, vulnerable authenticity. Because then what happens is everyone flips a switch. When you get on stage and you tell the truth, you tell your truth, you speak, quote unquote, from the heart, people feel it right away. That same mutual mental modeling that's going on, those same mirror neurons, that same empathy and compassion that makes us read others and be read by others um, <laughs> is transformed into a felt empathy for the authenticity that you're conveying. In other words, when you're on stage, if you have the capacity to be real, to let down your guard, you immediately disarm the audience. They immediately relate. They feel they can tap into that authenticity and they respond to it. To be real, to be authentic, to be open, and to be vulnerable is to be in an altered state of consciousness. To be in an altered state of consciousness is bewitching to watch, right? All of a sudden, the audience is caught up in and transfixed by this raw, real vulnerability. We can't get enough of it. We, we, we adore people who take the stage and are themselves without filter. It's courageous. It's real, right? We vicariously empathize, relate to, and wish that we too had the courage to be that open. So my advice to all of you is to take that fire in your belly, to take that angst, to take that desire for self-expression and do something with it. Put yourself out there. Take a chance. Take a risk. Be vulnerable. Be real. Be open. Admit your faults and failures and just be willing to be temporarily absolved of your own fears. <laughs> Risk it all, right? It's a psychological experience of the trustful surrender. Extaculate. Say yes, I am yours. And if you give yourself that way to an audience, I assure you, your fear will dissipate. You'll get in the zone and you'll give the talk of your life. That's my advice. <laughs>